hello friends welcome to our youtube channel and in this video we will see how we can add a bridge this is a bridge model uh, in acad and are we gonna add it to our civil 3d uh, corridor module okay so for that first thing you uh, need is the bridge this is being properly modeled it's a beam and everything is modeled except the slab everything is there and the Right. Just this, this is for the demonstration purpose. Uh, I, I suggest you should model everything properly and then you can use it. But the process will remain the same. Okay. And another thing you need is your corridor model ready. Uh, I haven't applied any transition to match with the bridge, but um, it's suggested that it's better if you apply a corridor transition where the bridge has maybe a lesser width than the corridor okay and third thing you will need is the point a point where uh, this bridge has to be a reference point for the bridge placement okay so i have taken this point the pile cap top reference point this point okay and that i have placed somewhere here okay cool so make sure another thing like your units are consistent so that you don't need to ex scale them once you import the bridge so let's go to the bridge model and let's select the bridge and say control c and go to the 3d bridge and then you place it control v to see where it is okay it's somewhere here so i will just place it like that okay and what i'm gonna do is i want to go to the top view okay top view and it's, it's not aligned so let me align this first so I will just quickly draw a, a polyline, okay, like this maybe, okay, enter, and then I will just move it near bridge and need to align, okay. So let's align this. So let me turn off the, okay, it's somewhere here, okay, cool. So just remember which side. This side is the uh, uh, is the beginning here so i have to align it properly so let me rotate it a little bit so that uh, there is no issue uh, so i just uh, put it like this and it is easier for me to then align this okay move it and then i'm gonna move it uh, let me go to this, this, this is the bridge deck part right so here i will just move it uh, to know just have to check this is this is the uh, pile cap top part so i will just grab it and then paste it somewhere here okay uh, okay now i have to rotate it okay place another polyline here let's place a polyline and then major angle angle between these two so go to annotate and then we just made the angular and then say this line and this line so it's like three degrees okay cool so we have to rotate it three degrees okay no problem so we select our bridge and then deselect this particular line by holding shift and then selecting it okay and then i rotate it and then we hit command rotate and pick our reference point this one and then rotate it by three degree row okay so three degree okay and this enter okay now it's properly aligned almost aligned okay and if you want it to be actually properly aligned then you can take uh, exactly aligned then you can take two points okay and then align it and or you you can what you can do is you can just uh, make this into block and then uh, align this okay that would be fine now i grab this bridge and go to our 3d mode okay here and then i will bring it to this point from our reference point this is our reference so just hit move and for move enter and then i just drag it to this location okay, here. okay cool so it's nicely pressed now okay you can rotate it and see that's properly aligned and nicely pressed very good now uh, what i want to do is maybe i want this uh, this bridge bridge to be projected to my uh, let's go to the top view and then i want it to be projected to my 
alignment okay the profile view okay cool we can do that so let's let's split this first into two parts so we see properly two vertical and in one i will just give it here and another i will just zoom to the profile okay cool now let's uh, let's project it so select your profile view okay and then you will have option to project objects to profile view okay so i will just select that and then i come here and select it so this beam is on the alignment okay so this one and then if you want then this part also you can select and then other like file cap also you can select and similarly you can select other things if you want okay everything that you want that can be projected okay so uh I, i'm just selecting a uh, little bit and just and then keep it like that and select this and uh, putting also the file cap top also okay just to see uh these let's uh, select this one also this okay and here we didn't select this so the last one also and here also okay so i think uh, we have enough to project okay so let's hit enter and then you will have uh, a, a, a box an option to project it and choose the style so this actually uh, doesn't matter in this case we just say okay and add all objects okay so all has been added okay you see this is very well added and i see uh there was an warning but this why this hasn't been added okay so what we can do is again project it okay let's project it again uh, i will i want to delete these parts okay so these are not useful actually so delete these and uh, you see this one is properly uh, and then this part we have to choose what we're going to do is uh, again select this one uh, okay this one is here the file and we just selected for other pile caps okay so that's why these are not here okay this one is here this has been selected okay and you notice whenever i choose this this one is highlighted in another view also okay okay cool so uh, we select others also let's select it uh, and project it next and then project objects and then we select others this one this one okay this particular and this particular okay uh, this one all already selected okay no need deselect it okay cool and uh this one hasn't been added added as this is not selected okay so we see which one is not selected maybe this part this part here is not selected so hasn't been added okay this one not selected and in this case also this is not selected okay so we select these and do we have other parts that's not feasible no i think uh we have uh, yeah we have only selected these so we hit enter hit enter and then we have all the objects and then ah uh, and this is saying do not add objects outside of the limits so we add it add all objects okay and this one here all has been added oh sorry this is uh, let's select these and we delete these i don't want these so now this has been added properly and all the elements have been added. very cool so if you just select it okay let's let's show you something let's select it you see all those objects that are projected has is being uh you know selected okay very cool so this is how you can project and check so furthermore as uh, this is now projected now let's see uh, select your profile view and let's go to the profile view properties and once you have the profile view properties let's change the profile view and our profile view here and let's go to the graph okay here yeah, graph in the graph you see right now the vertical to horizontal horizontal to vertical exaggeration is one okay so even let's let's change the scale okay let's change this scale to maybe one is 200 okay and the exaggeration is 10 okay so click okay and say apply 
and even with this the projection you see it's it will align itself okay even for other projections so this is a good thing about this uh, particular uh, way of projecting objects and again if we go back to the profile view properties and uh, we change the profile view and the exaggeration if you change it to maybe one is to one you see thousand okay and apply so you see it has been projected accordingly <laughs> so this doesn't look good uh, so we will switch back to the here vertical it will be one that's the best okay and say apply okay and you have you get back to the original view that we had okay so with this uh, being projected another thing that you can get uh, from these is the levels okay uh, so let's uh, let's select our profile view and then go to here you will have options for the level so add let's add a level okay so we will say station elevation and I will try to add somewhere like you see right now I'm not able to snap I want the elevation here okay so maybe our snap 3d snap is not on you need to turn on your 3d this one is particularly turned on 2d snap but 3d is not on so you have to just turn on your 3d snap so click escape and we say shortcut is F4 but we need to confirm if if everything is checked on so 3d snap okay so let's check 3d snap and other things are selected so i will say okay okay now let's go into the uh, 3d mode realistic okay this one is into the realistic mode now and now select your profile view and then go to the levels the station elevation and then we can snap it snap on and now we can snap it you see this one you snap it and then uh the station is selected now for elevation is also selected now here you have a level so we just drag it i've already adjusted the setting for drag elevation okay so we just drag this so we move this level and then okay you see the levels can be on so this is how you can for other parts also you can add the levels easily okay so this is another benefit so you see here it will now snap okay snaps properly okay and then you can move the levels so you can move the levels like this okay so this is how you can level it also so uh that's all for this video guys hope you guys like the video and uh, if you learn something new Please subscribe to our channel and like, share to your friends and have a great time. Thanks a lot.